Welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. It is your uh, Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the Thetford Panthers today. Baseball action for opening pitch. <laughs> and for strike, Ivan Menard nice sitting by me. How are we doing, Ivan? I'm excellent, Lance. How are you this I'm afternoon? I'm doing well. Grayson McNaughton on the mound for us tonight. Starts off with a strike right down the middle, too. Little in the dirt on that one, but we're good to who. I'm not sure this young gentleman's last name, how it's pronounced. I couldn't quite see it on the, on the lineup card. But his first name, I'm pretty sure, is, is Xander. So I'm just going to go with that. He's playing shortstop. Oh. Um, and I don't have grades or anything for the Thetford players. We weren't able to get a roster. There's another one. High, remember that high, fast, uh, high strike, Lance? Yeah. I said, it's just, this is a tall young man, and uh, it's hard to lay off that pitch. So... Oh, Steps out. Thetford won the championship last year, mm -hmm. and I heard they returned like 10 to 12 starters, and they're just stacked this year. Really, and and with that, I was told they came in. They're either five, five and zero, oh, or six and zero oh coming in tonight. I do have some stats for us on that. Okay. Well, well yep. Strike three. All right, way to go. How we start out yeah. right there. All right, let me mark that down. I, sh I was told you I was going to try and keep stats, and now I'm sitting here just fumbling around. Yeah. No, there was that was just. I think that was four pitches for him. So that's a good opener for Grayson. Very good to start with your lead guy. Good confidence builder right there for Grayson. We're going to go Z Xander with a K. Up next, this is uh, J.D. Farrell. He's designated a hitter today for the pitcher. Pitcher is Sam Parkman. So this is J.D. Farrell. Nice. Up at the plate right now. Uh, Thetford comes in 2-0 in the division, 6-1 overall. Oh. There's a shot in the left. Yeah, I thought Andrew would have a diet. Oh, that isn't Andrew. I apologize. Andrew's yep. playing shortstop today. Yep. And Jake is at third. I don't have quite so much wind. Maybe I won't need the full clipboard. So Farrell's single mm -hmm. in his uh, designated hitter role. Up next, Owen Goodrich. So we got Jake Davison at third. Second base is Justin uh, uh, Montgomery. Andrew Menard at short. Yes. Jake is over at third. Oh. Could you uh, just lift up for a second here on a cord? Nope. Okay. Okay, that's good. Roger. Runner goes. Oh, oh. in the dirt. Back up third, guys. Here we go. Yep. Stolen base. Uh, Thetford comes in 2-0 division, 6-1 overall. Their lone loss back on Saturday, May 4th, to Blue Mountain, 10-3, oh. and that was in Thetford. Oh, wow. Last game was this past Tuesday. They beat Randolph 19-3. And the next game, they'll host Linden uh, this Saturday. We come in 2-2 two and two to division, 2-3 and three overall, on a three-game skid. Yeah. Uh, lost twice to Montpelier and to PA. Our next game is this coming Saturday, May 11th as well, right here at Hudson Fields. We'll be hosting Spalding. Mm -hmm. We got a really tough schedule here. Yeah. Let's see what this guy does at second base. Nice pitch right down the middle. Are you able to see the scoreboard for the count? I, if I lean to the right, Lance, okay. right now I got one and one. All right. If I duck down, one I can out. kind of see it, but we're looking through that mesh again, and that's sometimes. Yeah. yeah it's definitely. not like we're getting any younger with our eyesight. <laughs> again, that count. That one's alone in the dirt. He's going to take third. Danny Grosler is moving to back up the throw. No play for that third base. So Farrell down to third base now. Yeah. Owen Goodrich looking to get a bat on the ball. Mm -hmm. Grayson looking to get a strike. Let's see what Grayson can deliver here. Just outside, a little, maybe a little high, but it was just outside. Mike wasn't going to give him that. Now I'm trying to remember. McNaughton came down from Crestbury, correct? Correct. Yep. Have you seen him pitch much? Or? No, you know, he, like I said, he played the 18U for me last year. There's a nice pitch right down the middle again. And um, three and two, full tilt. I didn't realize that he threw. We had a lot of pitching ah, power okay. on our on our team. So, but it worked the count full here. Let's see. Holding him at third a little bit. One out, top of the first. Here we go. Justin, ooh, got him on the inside corner. Goodrich, I think. 
<laughs> was ready to take his base. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> was ready to go. <laughs> Justin Robinson up next. <laughs> was that the egregious? Were we going to hear that again, Lance? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we don't, I'm trying to look around for some Thetford fans. That was kind of fun, though. I liked having those people right next it to us. It certainly was. It brought an interesting yeah. dynamic to the broadcast. It certainly did. And some good stats for us, too. And yeah. Some correct names. They're nice pitch down. Oh. Yeah, he happened to be, uh, the gentleman beside us happened to be uh, keeping score, I think, mm -hmm. for him. So we had backup. You know, if you watch this runner on third, Lynch, you'll see he's getting a really big jump down the line after the pitch is delivered and left-handed batter. Let's see what he does. Pass ball. Be under. There, nice pitch. I think he, that was a little off speed. Mm -hmm. And you saw the batter throw his head and because uh, he was way ahead of it. Still leaving a big gap out in right center field there for this kid. Nice pitch inside, nothing. Farrell still on third. Yeah. Justin Robinson at the plates. It looks like we got Fenton Meyer in right, Owen in center field, and Dan in left to round out the outfield there. Maybe. Whoops. Hi. Landon Miller making another start behind the plate, the catcher. Mm. Gaining some confidence. I think he... Like he was trying to see the coach's signs too. Do you see him looking over there to the mm -hmm. left? Let's see what this three and one. So we got to deliver here. Nice pitch. That's going to be out of play. Into the stance. Oh, hit that lady's chair. Yep. Even. Good thing she moved. Yeah. You know, once a long, long time ago, we were on vacation down in Florida and we went to Tropicana Field. And we, you could buy tickets, they're extremely cheap. Mm. So we were right behind the dugout, and, and I don't remember what teams were playing, and a, a foul ball was hit like that, and it was coming right to me, so I'm warming up to catch it, and I heard all this screaming, and, and I got shoved out of the way, and it was my wife and my daughter, Lindsay, pushing <laughs> me out of the way, and the ball hit my chair. Oh, hit my, hit my city. oh nice Stuck job, out. good job. In the inning. Very good. So he gave up a single, but uh, three strikeouts there in the, in the top of the first. A good inning for McNaughton. Excellent inning. Very, very exciting, actually. Yeah. Look at the motivation over there. Kids high five. Why did awesome. they push you out of the way? They thought the ball was going to hit them, and I was all no. excited to catch a major league, you know, <laughs> yeah. foul ball. I was so excited. Do you remember who was at bat? I don't. You know, who I were they playing? I don't even remember really? that. We were on vacation in, uh, yeah. over in St. Petersburg on St. Petersburg Island. Sure. And you could buy a ticket there for yeah. $18, 20 to watch an MLB, MLB game. So, I've been to a couple uh, couple MLB games. I saw the Red Sox play the Orioles. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I got to see uh, uh, Ripken play that day. And, yep. uh, you know, that was exciting. I think, if I remember right, I believe the Sox won that day. Wow. Uh, I went down with... Uh, one of my beverage salesmen who, of course, they got some primo tickets. And we sat about, oh, four rows off looking right up from first to second, right behind the Sox dugout. And that was kind mm -hmm. of fun. I think it was the Sox dugout. One of the dugouts, anyway. Yeah. And uh, my other game I went to, this I can tell you exactly when this one. This was July 4th, 1989. <laughs> I was down in Connecticut. I thought I was going to spend the 4th of July with some friends. Nobody was around. I looked in the paper. There was a bus going down to Yankee Stadium. Oh, they I've were never been there yet. This is, and this is the old Yankee Stadium, you know, before the new one. Yeah. And they were playing Detroit that day. And I went down. There's afternoon games, like 1, 2 o'clock start. So I hopped on a bus in Meriden, went down. We had again, great seats right off of first base. I was maybe 10 or 12 rows back, lower, lower section. Great game. Yankees won one zip, and after the game, Ivan, for, remember, this is 4th of July, Yankee Stadium. Mm -hmm. They rolled out the Beach Boys. 
Really? Yeah. And you're a huge music fan. And so. they had a hit that year with Kokomo. Uh, his cocktail had come out, so they were on the charts. I mean, they were big that year. Yeah. And it was when, you know, all, the bulk of the original members were, were still alive. Dennis Wilson wasn't there, but the bulk of the other ones were there. And they rolled them out, and those guys played all the hits, and that place went up. Wow. And then I hopped on the bus back. I got to Hartford just in time for Riverfest. I saw the 4th of July fireworks there. I was home by 2 a.m. Hmm. Game ticket, bus ride down, game ticket. 35 bucks. That's, well, 1989. 1989. Yeah, I was like, oh, my goodness. 1989. I'm going to jump on that train. Yeah. yeah. That was a, that was pretty much a no-brainer. <laughs> well, but, yeah, Beach Boys at Yankee Stadium on the 4th of July. Yeah. We went down uh, three years ago, and uh, we were in Connecticut for an um, uh, all-star game in the 18U League. And um, we were going to run down into the city and catch a Yankees game, but there wasn't one that weekend. Right. Lyle and everybody was there. Here we go. Let's Grace McNutt is starting things off for us today. So if they just played a game, I wonder who this pitcher is. Let's see what he's got. Nice start. Oh, Rip that one. Is that, baby. that Boy, I thought that was fair. It looked like it hooked over the top of the bag. Even the left fielders was yeah. a little... We've got Sam Parkman on the mound for Thetford. This is a name I remember calling it in basketball. Oh, really? There's a, there's a couple names on here that I remember from basketball season. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember calling this name. I could sure. be wrong, but uh, I, I believe I, I remember calling this name in basketball. Mm -hmm. So that's for Grayson to come around on. That's that's a good sign right there. Let's see. That curveball didn't break for him. I saw him in, in warm-ups. He was trying it. So let's see what happens. Uh, when I first got here, when I went down to get lineup, Sean was working on Grayson. He had a stiff neck. Oh, really? So, uh, for that first inning, hmm. three strikeouts, one single. I'd say uh, he's feeling pretty good. Oh, way to lay off on that one. High, and high fastball there. So he's he's ahead, two and one. Sean's still giving him, I'm certain he's swinging away. Look how shallow that right fielder's playing though. There's yes. another ball. This, uh, this is, so now he's, I wonder if he's gonna make him hold on that. I'd have him swinging away this early in the game. Three and one? Yep. Why not? Yeah, exactly. I mean, really, with these guys, you almost want to get a jump out and get a lead. There he goes, swinging away, right to center. Going to drop in. Oh, he made that look easy, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Wow. Uh, who do they got at shortstop? Uh, the the uh, Their leadoff batter, Xander, whose last name I, I dare not pronounce. But, uh, <laughs> I want to say it's O'Shawnee, but I'm, I'm not correct. I don't know. I'm, all right, let's see what Owen does. But I, I, they've got to be eyeballing that short porch and right. I mean, this he is just outside the infield. There's that curveball. That's oh. a nice, lazy curveball. Yeah, now, now they're going to see it. And I'll see if he dares to throw that again to Owen. See, down on the field, the guys are saying push it right, especially with that curveball. There's a fastball inside, though. A little bit cooler than the last time. Yeah, yeah. Goodness. Man. I was worried about him getting this game in the way it rained last night and this morning. I thought mm -hmm. this field would, must be some really good drainage out here. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely a little ball. bit cooler. There's high. Um, I got stuck in the uh, storm yesterday. I was coming down Hardwick Street and it was hailing like crazy up yeah. there. Yeah. It got nasty for about 15, 20 minutes. We got some serious thunder up there and some rain, torrential rain. I think Owen's going to slap this one. Oh, baby. That was that curve again, correct? Yep. That's two, though. That's only, I can say, yeah, he got a little over uh, ambitious on his. He lost his own count. <laughs> That's okay, Mike. <laughs> Come on, Owen. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> yeah. Pointing at his head. <laughs> Let's see what Owen does here. Come on, bud. Nope, that ain't going to come in. He's worked the count full, though, Lance. Yeah. Good at bad for Scorestead. Yeah. I get a little excited, and um, so I hope, I hope the viewers uh, appreciate it. I'm uh, I think they it. will share your excitement. Oh, kind of smacked that one. Yeah, a little defensive oh. move there. He was worried he might get the That was more of that Atlanta Braves. Kind of a Tom swat, Tom. yeah. Yeah. Whoops. For Sometimes it works. We saw it work uh, for Montpelier. Oh, he did it. Yeah. My goodness. I haven't seen that game. I want to watch that game again. Yeah. 
Here we go, Owen. You got eight pitches going. Oh. That one's up high. It's going to go into foul territory. Left field. A lot of ground to cover. A lot easier. Makes All the right. play. Yep. All right, Andrew. Left, uh, Dempsey McGovern. There's another basketball name playing left for him. If, if their lineup card is staying true, I know, like Montpelier, yeah. they were switching guys all over the place. True. They all are tall guys on this left-hand yeah. side. I mean, shortstop, third base, a lot of height on this. Look at the first baseman. He's yeah. a, you know, you always want a tall guy on. Hard Do Andrew. that Let's stretch. Andrew Menard. Jump on her here. Felt Good cut. I was called in my my Dustin Pedroia, you know. Yeah, exactly. I wanted them to be, yeah. you know, the same go. The Kirby Puckett, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that short, compact, you know. Yeah. Let's see if he brings him a curveball. If he's Andrew will push it right, I hope. Oh, inside, uh, low. Yep. He's he's a, a good, smart batter. Joe brought him up. From middle school for a game one. I don't know if you were here, and he got on base his first time and came around, and, and he actually scored, and he was huh? some excited. Oh, behind that one, he was trying to push that one right, I think. Looked like that's where he was aiming for. Yep. One and two, the count, two outs. Yeah. He's got the power to do it. Definitely. I've seen Andrew with some monster shots yeah. out here. That one is. He wanted number. that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two and two. See, now the boys are chattering tonight. Yeah, Lance. a little bit more chatter. There we go. That's sharply hit. Short stop. This kid has got a, Gun a vacuum it. and a. Well, they got it short. Uh, yeah. I know we talked about him one time there. Uh, Xander. Osha yep. I'm going to go with O'Shawnee. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Sounds so That's a good baseball yeah. name, you know. If that ball was hit sharp enough, yeah. I think Ex uh, Xander, you said, right? He, yeah, I Xander. Think, Xander, yeah. Xander, I think he played that ball before Andrew was even in the, the, right, the left-handed batter's box down across the plate. So. One down here at Hudson Fields. No score yet. You are watching Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors by the Village Restaurant. Open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Lance all with the call. Ivan Menard here as well with his vast baseball expertise, lending some credence to the broadcast today. Art on camera and tech doing double duty. Now, we talked about the diner last time. Did either Andrew or Lindsay do anything with Tech Center? GMTCC? LSD? They did not. They Lindsay did not. went to... Uh, her senior year, she did a year of college instead. What did the year of college? Yeah, Joey and both Joey and Lydia did that. Yeah. Lydia did uh, her junior year down at the Tech Center and loved it. Uh, had a great time. Yeah. They have a program down there, which I didn't realize it until my nephew Derek had gone. I think he did his probably his sophomore year down there. And um, Sherry Lusher was managing the programs down there at that time. Really? Yep. And I went. Rest, I did know that, yes. Yep. And I went to a graduation, and, and the things, you know, the scholarships they gave those kids mm -hmm. and just absolutely set them up for success. Yeah. It's a, it's a great place, and they have so many different programs down there. So many. I did not know, I did not know that. There's a ton of programs. You can do everything from auto mechanics to forestry to culinary mm -hmm. arts to business to fabulous, fabulous resource uh, down there. When I was in high school, they did, uh, everybody went to Barry to do this. And uh, I think at Spalding, they have a, uh, I could be wrong. Like a Votech thing. A Votech thing. Yeah. And it was, you know, granite, electrical, and some plumbing. But same not thing. anywhere near that they do. No. Today. Same thing here when, when I was at Hayes. And a lot of kids went to Lamoille for Votech. And like I said, sure. you say it was, you know, automotive, electrical, stuff like that. Carpentry, maybe. Um, yep. But, uh, all right, Tommy Amber. Coming up, there's here's some height right here. I think that's the first baseman, isn't it? Uh, Amber's playing third base. Uh, he was listed at third Boy. base on the on the. Uh, yeah, he is a on a lineup card. Big kid, big guy. Let's see what we can do here. Grayson with a nice start. Go back. 
looked like uh, Doug DeGrosler made a uh, kick save with that. Right. <laughs> Where they jump right out. Let's see, Grayson. Nice job, right down the middle and just blew it right by him. Oh, and two. He almost looked like he was ahead of it, like they're expecting a little more speed mm -hmm. and maybe, maybe Grayson took something off of that, Lance. Fooled him just a little bit. Yes, you see him throw their head. Oh, baby. High. Just just a yep. hair high. Or was yeah. it outside? No, that, really... You know, that's a, what they call a good miss right mm -hmm. there. Because, um, you know, you're down 0 and 2. you got to really know your strike zone as a batter mm -hmm. to lay off of something like that. Let's see what Grayson does here. Nice, just inside, a little high. Both benches are a little more automated. Yeah. Than, is that the right word? Animated. Animated. Sorry, yeah. automated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're animated out there today. That's playable. Come on, Andrew. Get underneath that. Pitch a tent. Let's go. The proverbial can of corn, as it's called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, <laughs> which, the one handed catch, which yeah. I don't know why we went to the one handed catch so much, but I think. Um, Dempsey McGovern up yeah. now. Left fielder. One down, top of the second, no score. Well, he's not giving that that one there. Is right, it looks from our angle to be right over his right shoulder, the catcher. Yeah. Let's see. Who do we have behind the plate today? You mentioned his name a couple times. Uh, Miller. Oh, Mike. Uh, I can't think of his last name. He uh, does men's league Tuesday night golf, and he does a lot of baseball and okay. soccer refereeing and umpiring. And he's a he's a good golfer. Now we're three and zero. Oh. Now he's going to deliver here. Yeah. Hmm. Just faking the square, throw him off his game. There's a strike right there. So no. Now he's swinging away, Lance. Three and one, yeah. Anything hittable, he's gonna go for it, eh? Yeah. That's a nice pitch. Come on, come on. Jake. There we go, Jake. Way to uh, stop it, bud. Kept it in front of him. Yep. Got kind of a quick little bounce there. Yeah, little like you say, coming off, off the grass ground. like that. Yeah. Now, is that scored a straight-up single? Would that be an error? What? What? I, I have no clue how they do this all that. This is where my vast knowledge gets a little okay. much weaker. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't think it's an error because he stopped it. I guess it's okay. a fielder's choice is what they would call that. Okay. Probably. So fielder's choice means he can go to first base or can hang on to it, correct? Correct. I okay. So. Okay. I'm going to mutter so that it – well, that's a nice pitch right there. Evan Patterson at the plate. Yeah. Evan didn't like it, but that's, that was a beauty pitch. Fenton's playing it pretty deep. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he checks the runner. He's got a pretty good lead. No, nope. that's another one. Oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, nothing overly egregious there. <laughs> <laughs> I would call that a very good miss if I'd have been a, but from up, we're also up elevated yeah. too, so. Head. He's Excuse going. Me. There we go. All right. Yeah. You hear the coaches talking to him. You know, you, you got to stay on top of that. A lot of speed coming around second. Yeah. But that backstop is producing. It's giving the ball back. Luckily for us. Yeah, it's very short behind mm -hmm. behind home to the to the backstop. Going again. Throw down to third. Come on, come on. Oh, yep. Good speed. Good play on our part, you know. 
So twice now we've seen the second batter in an inning get a single, then steal second and third to mm -hmm. put themselves in scoring position. Aggressive, which mm -hmm. Hazen was known for in the past with very aggressive base running. Yep. Spencer loved to double steal, played very aggressive ball. I, I really liked uh, watching Spencer coach these boys. And we just got to get base runners, and I think Sean and Joe would be able to do the same thing. You know, yeah. we get creative. So now we Patterson know walks. number four is going to steal, and we'll see. Right. You'll, you'll hear the coaches calling out the play, but. Uh, this is Andrew Spooner up now. Playing catcher today. Still one out. So we know he's going to steal. And right, to take away the force, correct? Yes. And to, and, and to just, yeah, if they get yeah. a hit, score more, yeah. There he goes. There he goes. Throws right, yeah. So now we've taken, they've taken away the force. Well, with any kind of hit, mm -hmm. you know one run. Anything through the outfield typically yeah. is going to be, you know what I mean, you're, right. you're going to expect them, unless it's sharply hit right to the, the fielder, and we have a lot of arms in the outfield. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, that's a good pitch right there. Well, maybe I should hold my comments to myself about the, <laughs> egregious, the with, over about the egregiousness of the goal. No, I wouldn't say that, but. Uh, Two and O. Oh. It looks good. Be hard to lay off. Spooner. Three and oh, baby. So now if you're the coach, Lance, do you gonna do you have this young gentleman number thirty seven swinging away? This early in the game, because you know he's going to deliver. You, got, you know, you're at the bottom of the lineup. You got Liam Brooks coming up next. I mean, I don't know. We haven't mm -hmm. seen him hit yet. True. Uh, There's no force. Yeah. You know, these are the, this is that game, that chess, the chess game. game. Yeah. Oh my. Takes a walk. Well, fills the bases for Liam Brooks, center fielder. Yeah. Okay, so Matt McGovern going back to run for Spooner. Looks like a speedster out there. Yeah, I think so. They get their catcher their gear on. It's a tight strike zone. Grayson's doing a good job. He's just, you know, he's just missing. I would say from what I'm observing. Um, now got, we got bases loaded, though. This you got the fly out to start the inning. Then there was a single by by um, McGovern, and then two walks. Now if we can turn two, that's a good pitch right there. There's yep. a strike. Still just one out, so. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. They haven't pulled the infield in, so I don't. I think they're just. Yeah, with the infield out like this, would you be think would would you consider bunt? You know, as a coach, but it's so early in the game with only one out. There's a nice pitch. Oh, and two. But you said this is a number nine batter. Is yeah, that right? number yeah. nine batter. So <clears throat> he's definitely not going to bunt now. Yeah. Maybe he had him holding, but I don't know why. See, now Grayson just got to deliver one more mm -hmm. strike. Then you go back to the top of the order with, with Xander mm -hmm. O'Shaughney. Then I would play my, because Fenton is really deep right now, but that's okay. Nice. Right to come Jake. On, on, Jake's going to come home. Beauty. Good job. Got Lisa. the force out at yep. home. Got the lead runner. That's good. That was a good play for Jake. Yes. He caught that one hopper, you know, that one off the grass. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have time to hit, get to that lip. But. So the top of the order here, Xander. <laughs> this kid looks like an athlete. Yeah. Too, so it's, <laughs> I bet you he's got him swinging for the fences. Struck out. 
back in yeah. the top of the first to lead things off. Oh, oh. Good job. Grayson came hustling in. And our crowds you saying the same thing. You get some yeah. support over there. I don't know. I can't see. Yeah. You know what? For as, as not as nice of a day, we still got a decent crowd here today. We do. Yeah. <laughs> not like when it's sunny and 70. True. But. <laughs> Sally and John Bell. I, I didn't mention any of the ladies, the the wives' names the other night. And I I want to apologize to all the ladies for that. But uh, Sally Bell advances here. That should be catchable. Come on, Jake. Come on, kid. Beauty catch. Nice Did you catch. see that? Yeah. And that's, he was, that was looking away. Out. Yeah, looking yeah. out over his head. Yeah, tough catch right there. That certainly was. Excellent play by Jake. You can see him smiling all the way from here. Red, you know, right into the dugout. Super good. What a great job. So third out. And, uh, hey, we got out of that no runs scored awesome. in that inning with having the bases loaded. So yeah. Confidence building right now for Hazen going yeah. up against, you know, here we've got returning state champions right here. <laughs> True. And I mean, did you see the pop that put in Jake's step? He came yeah. right out. He's looking to go to war. He grabbing his weapons and hey, he's, he's up going. next. Yeah. He'll, he'll, now he'll lead off the inning. Think, there, think there's a little bit of adrenaline flowing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And so what we need is a couple of base hits right here and some runners. And Jake and Dan and you know we're hitting the ball just like we did the other night. Right. We just got to hit those gaps and. Uh, See what happens. You know, we got talking about Major League games earlier. I mm -hmm. forgot. I did go to one other one as well. I saw the Montreal Expos play the San Francisco Giants when Barry Bonds. Up and up at the Bond. Big O? And, and the Big O. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. A lot of fun. Yep. A lot of fun. Um, in fact, I got those tickets. We were talking... Uh, one of the uh, Montpelier assistant coaches is Nick Foster. His dad is Greg Foster, who has worked with Pepsi for decades. Mm -hmm. Got me the tickets that day to go up. I never caught a game up there. You know, you from New York, right, and me from just south of Boston, it was always, you went to Fenway, yeah. right? Yeah. So when we moved up here. Well, I've, all, I've always, I've been in Vermont since I was four. Oh, No, okay. five, five. Yeah. No, how old was I? We went here in 1970. Yeah, so I was five. Well, I, I, I was in Connecticut before that, but I, I, uh, like I said, I was very, very young. Well, Connecticut's that. You, you, you know I mean, you're either a Yankees fan or a Bruins fan. Right. It depends on which part, right? Exactly. So, yeah, you go Yankees, Sox, Bruins, Rangers, you know, yep. Giants, Pats, stuff like that. Yeah. You're, you're pretty split. Um. But I, I never was able to catch a game up there. I never would have if we hadn't gotten those tickets that day. Um, it was, you know, I mean, the big O was the big O. It's it's sterile. It's huge. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, you know. But uh, still, though, I, uh, you know, the Expos were at times a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, off of the baseball, was the Botanical Gardens there at that time, Lance? Do, does that? Um, yeah, I've I've been to the Botanical Gardens. Yeah. Um, back, Jamie and I went up there a couple times. Let's my own couple of ones, and we went up. And you could get like a, almost like a triple play pass where you could do um, the Biodome, which is right near yeah, there. Yeah, you're right. And then you could ride the elevator up to the top of the Olympic Tower right over the Big O, which is phenomenal. And then you could do the Botanical Gardens as well. And that's really, really cool. <laughs> Oh, Jake, Jake Davidson up. He was ahead of that one. He, He's pretty pumped up. And I, he's going to crush this ball. Right near the Botanical Gardens is the Insectarium. And I, that's right. You could do I four things. I forgot that, too. That's right, yep. incredible. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Now, so now Jake has got the power. He can really. Yeah, we've seen Jake. That curveball isn't, isn't breaking enough for this young man. And he, he the pitcher, I think, wanted that one. Well, that the sun feels good, Lance. Yeah, it does. Came out. It's kind of nice. Parkman still on the mound for Thetford. Let's see what Jake can do here. It was in three up dirt. and three down in the first. Yeah. To uh, to the you got him to Two and fly one. out on a couple, and uh, Andrew hit that shot to shortstop. The yeah. Guy vacuumed up, as you said. Now oh, come on, Jake. Let's see what we got, bud. Bottom of the oh, second, baby. no yep. score. That one there, you got the break a little bit. And I thought Jake might push that the opposite field because, like I say, he's got that power. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Two and two. Uh, yes. Yep. Yeah, you're right. That post is still right there. There we go. Yeah, just under it. Just under it. But it's all right. Yeah. 
Center fielder back. Yep. Makes the catch. He almost. Liam Brooks. Yeah. Got Dano coming up now. Up Dan. A lot of power. Like I said, we just need to yep. string some hits. And when Justin on deck, and that big double he had the mm -hmm. other night. Dan's got a lot of speed. Yep. Okay. Right in. No denying that one. That's a lot easier pitch to push the other way because mm -hmm. the ball is tailing away, so you can just step in and go with it. Let's see what Dan does here. If he gets a like fastball or, yep, fastball in the dirt. Yeah, we used to try to run down and, and bring the kids to Fenway at least once a year. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Dan. There it is. In the dirt. He was ahead of that one, too. Just just a little bit. I think they're used to a little bit more speed, but that's okay. Yeah, I was glad to get there once. It, <laughs> per the usual, when we get there, it was so much smaller than what I thought, you know? Andrew said the same first, the, the first time ever there, he thought yeah. it was small. Um, there we go, Dan. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Through Look the, at that the infield nice. gets the outfield. Dan in with a single. Great job, Dano. Nice shot. Puts one on. Justin Montgomery up now. And just out of the reach of the shortstop, he put a lot of effort yeah, into. He did. He laid out for it and everything. So, um, and you know, um, I took the WDEV bus down last year. Oh yeah. To to Fenway. Mm -hmm. And. Um, that took a lot of pressure off of driving that, Yeah, down. I was going to say, that's the way to go. Yeah. 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 We drove in that day, but the guy I was with um, yeah, back. had been there many times, knew where to park, knew where to sure. go, and knew everything. Yeah. But, yeah, if I was going to go down there, I'd, I'd take a bus. Yeah. Uh, Cody and I did that one day with uh, Loudon. We went down to Loudon on oh, a sure. DEV yep. bus. Let's see. <laughs> Montgomery at the plates. What do we got? One out. Bottom <laughs> of the second. No score. Runner on. Oh, Justin, here we go. Now, I imagine he's going to come at him with that curveball. Excuse me. That would be my guess, because... If he throws the curve, we change your name to Nostradamus. <laughs> Pick the numbers tonight for the lotto, or was that last? I don't know. Danny's going there. Good job. Had to hit and run on. Mm -hmm. Came in with what looked like a fastball. It it was. I, I was a little surprised. So yeah, Sean had the hit and run on. I think Dan's got the speed to get down there if he can get a good jump. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what happens if we're gonna play the same. Dan's going. There we go. There we go. Down a short oh, over to baby. second. Get there, get there, get there. Down. Oh. Double play. That's what they're saying. Yep. I mean, it was close. It was close. Umpire standing right there. Yep, yep, for sure. You know, I'm not going to use that word. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to go with the tie goes to the runner, but I, I might be a little biased, right? No, I'm kidding. Takes us to the uh, top of the <laughs> third inning. Score still zip zip. Um, you're watching uh, Hayes and Varsity Baseball here on HGTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hgtv.us. Sponsored by the Village Restaurant. Open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. The Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. LNSD.org, Jumpstart Your Future. Art doing camera and tech. Lance on with the call. Ivan Menard along, chatting it up as well with me. Always appreciative of you, Ivan. Now, Thank you, Lance. breakfast all day at the diner. What's your go-to breakfast item at the diner? I was waiting for this one. I, Monte Crisco, that can be a, a lunch or a breakfast. Mm -hmm. But I'm more along the lines of just ham, scrambled eggs, home fries, and yeah. Lynn does a, and her staff do a fabulous job down there. They do. Everything in there. And a lot of local, it, it, you know, uh, grown, locally grown yes. um, products there, cheeses and the meats. And uh, Lynn's got a heart as big as this, this field oh, here. Absolutely. So, um, absolutely. 
I'm with you. I'm a, I'm a traditional, uh, you know, ham and, ham and egger. Yep. Or sausage. I'll, I'll do the. I like I like the sausage. Yep. A um, good bread. Yep. And uh, you know, like I say, the toast, some home fries. Mm hmm I tip. You know, I'll go there and I'll meet uh, friends. In right. the morning for breakfast, when you're having a hard time, linking up in the evenings, and you know, especially yeah. during the season right now. Exactly. And um, homemade raisin toast, I like that. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. And you got to have peanut butter with it, Lance. <laughs> I'll skip the peanut butter. I'm not a peanut. I don't like peanut butter on my toast in the morning, and I and I mm. despise anybody who puts ketchup on their eggs. Oh. I can't I'm do not that. a ketchup on I can't, I can't do that. But I, I'm a good Frenchman, and I like peanut butter on my raisins. No, I, I can't sure. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't have enough French in me. But my brother used to put ketchup on his eggs, and Cody used to put ketchup on his eggs, and it just yeah. nauseated me in the Yeah, morning. I can't do that either. I would get up and leave the table. <laughs> Oh, a little started out in the dirt. My dad would put ketchup on his salad. Really? And I, oof, I couldn't do that. Yeah. French fries, burgers, yeah. and uh, we're good. J.D. Farrell, designated hitter up. Yeah, definitely. French fries and burgers are about, I can't do ketchup on a hot dog. Mm -hmm. Mustard, mustard and relish. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. I was hungry when we sat down, and now, you know, I'm thinking about going to the diner, right? But Lynn doesn't do dinner. Yeah. But, uh, she was just here a minute ago. I turned to my right and saw her. There we go. That's a catchable ball with Owen out there, right? Call it up. There we go, kid. Two-handed catch. Nice play. we got Owen Goodrich up next. Uh... I think as long as, as Grayson keeps it in the in the strike zone, he's striking these guys out, and we're they're putting the ball in, in play. Goodrich struck out back in the uh, <laughs> first inning, so. In the dirt, no heart, but. So you're you've been here long. Enough, remember when they had a softball field over across from here, right? The softball field was over here where that backstock is over there with the, by those big pines. But wasn't there that one that hit this way years ago in that I, back corner? Was that it? one I do not remember. Men's League softball. Hmm. There we go. That's catchable. Back it up, Justin. Come on, kid. Oh, baby. Couldn't quite right. get it. Yeah. Good rich singles. That I, you know, you know, now that you mentioned it, I think I do. Oh, I barely remember. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I know when the girls played softball up here, I believe that the only the few times I remember seeing them, they played from over there where that backstock was. Oh, yeah. Yep. But, um, boy, you could be right. I almost, in the vaguest recesses of my memory, mm -hmm. remember a men's softball diamond for softball maybe out there. Yes. So the ball, just he's going. Now, we'll see... You know, do you, do you do a pitch out here and you try to do a pitch out for the third base? It's, it's a left-handed batter, so you don't have to throw over a right-handed batter to make the play at third. So there's Grayson and the catcher, you know what I mean? We'll see what happens. Justin Robinson at the plate. I think he's going to go, Lance. No, nope, I'm wrong. There's a strike. Yep, nice job, Grayson. And then the other piece, you know, the, the fly ball with Justin, I was always taught by the great Mike Clark to point your throwing arm, turn with your throwing arm. So you're throwing, make the catch over that left shoulder okay, you're right. so that you're you already, turn. you don't have to cross yep. your body to make the play, if you can, if the ball, right. you know, a blooper like that. That's a tough ball mm -hmm. as well for poor Justin. Gave it a good shot. He did. Now that's that's a really tough ball to catch. Right up in the sun. See how he's turning? Yep, nice job. Nice. <clears throat> that's typically a third baseman's ball, but that is such a hard ball for the catcher to make a play on. So Grayson made the right move and come in and Hey, two we got, yeah, right? Exactly. Tommy Emperor up next. Uh Flew out. He popped one up to the shortstop last time. Is what I have here. I think Andrew meant to play on that one. Oh yeah, a nice Swinging pitch a right there. Yeah. 
I think he's painting it just enough, and he's just off speed enough for them. It's it's uh, really ooh. inside. So two outs, correct? So there's, is there any yes. chance the runner's going to go, or is he going to hold? Well, I don't know. You don't two really outs. want to get caught to make the yeah. third out if you're at second, correct? There's no force. So there. Tip that back. was a good pitch. One and two. He'll be going now at a crack of the bat. Yep. Uh, yeah, two outs. Yeah. One and two. Now, you see, this coach is... He's all by himself, and he has a, a player over on first base. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be a tough ball. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Well, we're through to first. He got him. He got time. him. Nice job. Good inning, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Woo. All right. Here we are in the third inning, and what no we got to do is we, we got to break the ice right here, Lance. Exactly. Well, I agree. Let's see if we can't jump on it. See what we got coming up here if I Some go to my Mike trusty Baker. lineup. Hey, Mike. Mike Baker, how are you? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Fenton Meyer up to lead things off here. Where are we in the lineup, Lance? Where is that uh, number? Fenton, uh, we're at number seven. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's basically been three up and three down through the first two innings for... Uh, <laughs> Both sides almost, right? For uh, Parkman out here. Yeah. Uh, they brought four in the first inning. One, two, three, six in the second and four in the third. So a little more have, have come. You know, they've, got, they've cycled through uh, mm -hmm. once already. And they're about, you know, the next batter up here in the, uh, when they go to the fourth, it'll be their number six batter. Well, that's so. right. In, in the last inning, yeah, they had loaded the bases yeah. up too. Yeah, forget about it. We had a few walks in there. But Grayson found he found it in this inning, yeah. this last at bat. So, <clears throat> interestingly enough, he had the three strikeouts in the first inning. After that, it's all been, you know, flyouts, throwouts, stuff like that. Uh, no, as as far as his strikes, he hasn't gotten any more strikeouts. But make him hit it on the ground. Make your defense makes plays. Sure. Yep. You know, uh, when I look down at Fenton. Uh, Myers' his Uncle Tom was a big catcher back okay. in the day. Yeah. And Tom and I are the same in age. Andrew was, was a year below me. Right. But I always played ball all the way up That's through right. with those guys. And um, Tom, you know, moved away. He's down in mm. the D.C. area, I believe. But it's, yeah. it's so great to – I see Andrew all the time. But to meet right. Tom, you know, to see Tom every, you know, I haven't seen Tom. holidays. You know. Well, I think the last time I saw Tom was for one of the basketball games uh, yeah. this past winter. And there's enough for Parkman on the mound for for Thetford uh, has, has no strikeouts. He's got flyouts. He's got outs. He's got, they turned a double play. He, he has given up one single to Dan. Yeah. But uh, other than that, no strikeouts yet mm -hmm. for Parkman. You're getting really good with the stat stuff, here, Lance. Well, like I say, with you covering play by play, <laughs> now I can, you know, I think we're working to each other's strengths. There you go. There you, you go. Know. I, I would love to keep book, you know, for for a baseball game. <laughs> if I can be engaged that way, yeah. the game for me is so much better. If I just come and watch, if I'm not commentating or doing something mm. like this, I get bored. You know? Really? Yeah. yeah I, I've got to be kind of engaged and, and yeah. you know. Fenton squaring to bunt here. That's right back to the down. pitcher. Look at that speed down the first yeah. base line, though. I mean, yeah. that went right back to the pitcher. And he was out by probably two paces. <laughs> but that's a lot of speed. If he'd laid it that is. down the third baseline, I think he might have got it. Jake Hayden up next. You know, that's why a couple years ago I was, when, the, when I forget who it was, whether it was Cody, it was Joey was doing AAU basketball, and Aaron mm -hmm. didn't have somebody to keep book one day. And I'm like, give me a quick tutorial. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Loved it. Oh. It made the game much more interesting for me. I was fully sure. engaged. And uh, my wife used to keep book when I did the girls' softball. Yep. And little league sometimes. So Jake took strike one. It was straight down the middle. Let's see if he comes back with that curveball. There it is. Yep. It's high. So they went back, to, you know, Sean went to small ball to try to, you know, get a runner on base and with the speed of Fenton. Yeah. <laughs> there's that fastball high. That's 
sun went back into hiding. And yeah, <laughs> and now it's chilly again. Since the eclipse, we have had not yeah. a lot of sun. No. There it is, Jake, a little behind it, but that's all right. Yeah, when I left the house, it was chilly in the house. I told Jamie, I was like, you know what? I got kindling and wood ready to go. There's a newspaper. <laughs> Feel free. Start a fire. Have you stacked any more wood since our last? Uh... Uh, I have not. Uh, Terry <laughs> dropped a cord yesterday. Of course, it rained. We got that thunderstorm last night, so I couldn't go out and do it. Oh, that was a storm for sure. So otherwise, if the weather would have been decent, yeah, I would have loved to have gone out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the final cord. So, so to three all and the, two. One out. All the viewers out there, Lance loves to stack fire. Well, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. There we go, Jake. Oh, nice Struck cut. Him out. Nice cut. First strikeouts of the game for Parkman. If I'm doing these stats correctly. Miller up next. If you're doing them correctly, Lance, that, that tells us, you know, we're we're striking the ball well. Right. But we're just hitting it to them. Here we go. This Mr. Miller here in the dirt. Yeah. Lays off. That's a good good eye there. I mean, through the first two innings, we hit the ball. Mm -hmm. Every batter hit the ball. But it was fly outs, and, and we had the one single and the one double play. Yeah. And Fenton laid down the bunt. So I, I think he didn't, he didn't commit to that. He was a little, but... Um, I like what I see in this young man. One and one. Oh, that one there had a little more pepper on it too. One and two, two outs, bottom of the third, no score. And we got lead off right fields. behind him, right? right? Yep, McNaughton up, ready to go if needed. Oh, we struck him out. Yep. So after not striking anybody else, two strikeouts to end the inning for Parkman. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll move to the uh, top of the fourth with no score here at Hudson Fields. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys playing the Thetford Panthers today. Uh, Hazen Varsity Baseball brought to you by the Village Restaurant. Open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst.org. Jumpstart your future. Lance Hall with the call. Ivan Menard on chatting as well. Art on camera and tech on a decent day for baseball today. Mm -hmm. I'm not minding this. It's a little chilly, but not a lot of wind. Yeah. When they say a cooler day, the ball carries better. I don't know how we, it's what I was always told for some reason, but I believe we have number three, Dempsey McGovern, leading off things, so they're sort of in the middle of their lineup. Now, how hard is it, Ivan? Say like, you know, you know, cold weather <laughs> You tend to get stiff, you know, your, your your blood slows down and everything. You know, you're out in, in the outfield, and you've been out there for a while, and all of a sudden you get the ball hit to you. I mean, it's got to be a tough <laughs> wake-up call. Yeah, I mean, you know, your arm's not warm, your body's not warm. All of a sudden, you got to get out there and hustle your legs. you got to get your legs under you. Mm -hmm. you got to get your arm, you know, ready to make a decent throw. How hard is it? Well, I know from sitting in this chair and commentating <laughs> that it's very hard. Our viewers wouldn't say that about my mouth that runs all the time. However, well, our jaw <laughs> muscles are, are, are well well lubricated and going good. But uh, for these young athletes, I'm certain that it's, you know what I mean, to, to be out there and... You know, to keep your mind focused in the game, especially when it's cold. But right. I think it's the love of the game, and all of a sudden you flip the switch, mm. and the, and and you're in go mode. So <laughs> the harder part is, you know, coming in, like you say, and then getting up there to bat and feeling loose. I think. Right. Yeah. And the that sting. Get that good swing. Yeah, the sting in your hands mm -hmm. on a cold day with a bat. See, his throws. He's coming up. He's firing, and yeah. it's gonna it's gonna start clicking. Uh, McGovern was up in the second inning. He hit a single, then stole second and third, but they got him on the force out at home. Mm. On a nice play. Uh, Jake, the nice knockdown from Jake there at third to get the force out. Yeah. You know, and that's a good point. I remember, uh, you know, in, in T ball and, and, and Little League, we called it kicking daisies out in the outfield. You know, and as a coach, you were constantly talking to the kids and telling yeah. them where the play was going to be to try to keep them excited because a ball hit to the outfield was so rare. That's a good pitch right there. Mm -hmm. Just outside. 
I mean, I never played baseball. I played men's softball one summer. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a reason why I only played one summer. <laughs> <laughs> I was not very good. And uh, I remember they put me in center. Oh, really? And we were playing over in Walden, and this, I can't, I, I can, I can For never the tell Wombats, you. The, you played against the Walden Wombats yeah. back then, yeah. And I don't know who he was, but this very large man got up at bat, and he pointed his bat right Oops. at me. That one goes behind McGovern. Yeah. He pointed his bat right at me, and he goes, I see the man in the belfry back there. And I was back against the fence, <laughs> and he hit it right to me. And I had so much time waiting for that ball to come down. I did make the catch. Good. One of the few highlights <laughs> of my <laughs> softball career. Could have been Tim Moran. If he oh, was it was scary. This was back in the 80s. McGovern walks. This was back in like 1986. I mean, it was a long, long, long time, time ago. ago yeah. But I will never forget standing there. And, 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 and as it's coming in, I can hear the ball humming, you know. And I'm like, oh, my God. It was really hit. Help sure. me. Help me. <laughs> so our strike zone was still pretty tight down there. Uh, and uh, Grayson was just just around it. Now, I think he's going to go on the first pitch. Yep. Patterson walked back in the second and then stole second as well because uh, McGovern had moved over to third by then. So we'll see if uh, what happens on this one. This, again, this is, you know, do you try a pitch out? I still think he's going. He's gone. So, so we'll see if history repeats itself here. Dempsey's already, McGovern's already stole Second, see if he goes for third again. Patterson up, Evan uh, Andrew Spooner on deck. This is where, you know, Justin needs to keep him honest out there, right? He's trying, see? And now he's gone. That's a strike. Oh, he held off. Right-handed batter, the catcher made, it was a good, good catch, and I think he was ready to release, that's for sure. And as a pitcher, you know, with that runner out there jittering and, and moving, uh, it can, you know, it does throw you off your mm -hmm. game, you know. And, and, and Catch it out of the corner of your eye. Mm-hmm. Because you have, uh, Grayson's going to deliver. Hi. And outside, three and one. One out. No, no, no outs. No outs. No outs. So yeah. Patterson swing away or take take the pitch. Three and one. I I got him swinging. It's the fourth inning. We you know I, I'm sure they would like to get another inning or two out of Grayson. Mm -hmm. You know to prepare for the next games coming up. That's all four. So Patterson walks. Mm -hmm. Then we got Spooner up next. He walked. Let's see if he, if he tries a double steal here. You know, and then yeah. so now here comes the coach. Sean to talk to McNaughton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Sean stepped on the first baseline when he went out there. Some some of the guys think that's bad luck. Bad luck to you step know, on the first step baseline. Step on the line, you know. Sean has no fear. Yeah. Now, while we got a minute, we, you know, we're talking about Sean. Um, of course, the last number of years, uh, Spencer was up here. Do you, mm -hmm. do you know? I know Spencer's got a young family stuff. Did he did he want time off for family? Or was he just you know the reason behind his not coming back this year? I'm are certain. You or are you at liberty to say? No, no. I'm I'm. If I were in his position, I'm, I'm certain it's his children, his yeah. family. You know, his, his kids are going to be coming up into the the baseball league, and mm -hmm. if anybody loves the game and loves this this group of young men, is Spencer. Yeah. You know, and um, but with that many. You know, yeah. folks at home, it's just hard to get away. It is. And we talked about that last time, the time and, and, and everything yeah, that goes into all I'm this. And I'm sure his job, you know, he probably took a lot of sick days. And, yeah. Um, and he would come up and personally, they're out going. That should be an out. Jake Parker. Andrew's coming over to cover third. Oh, no. 
That's okay. That's okay. Gave it a shot. Gave it a shot. He, uh, you couldn't see it. He had to go back at the last second, Lance. Okay, I couldn't, yeah. I see, there's just, there's, that's such a hard ball for an infielder. But, um, I mean, it's, it's towering high, it's tailing off. Mm -hmm. Ball's moving the entire way. It, yeah. And, uh, Oh, he was able. He laid off on that one. I thought he was. Gonna be, he, he looked like he wanted to swing. So back to the Spencer. Um, he certainly. You know, he came up and he would always do the lines in the batter's box right. and rake the field. He was very meticulous, and just he lived, ate and breathed baseball for all those years. And we all. That's a nice pitch. We all. I certainly appreciate. It. I know Definitely. we all did. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But Sean has that that passion and that fire too. And like I said, Joe stayed With Joe on down there. Yeah. For the transition year, and you know, and, and there's just so much knowledge down there on that yeah. line. If you look at that coaching staff. Oh. Okay, we hit the batter. That's all right. So that'll load the bases. Uh, bottom of the lineup uh, again for Brooks. Brooks uh, got a single last time. He's using all of his pinch runners to help out his his pitcher and his catcher. Catcher, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, who do we have go over to first? Do we have a number? Is the number, did I say a 20 on there? Um, I, 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 I can't tell from my angle, Lance, but. If it's a 20, it's Gavin Chambers. Hmm. One way to get all your players in the game is yeah. some pinch runners, but I don't know that we've had a base runner yet, have we? Did we have one? Hazen? Back in the, yeah. Hazen, are you talking, has Hazen had a yeah. base runner? Uh, Dan, singles. Oh, that's right, yep. Okay, let's see what we can do here, guys. Get the lead runner. Bottom of the lineup with Liam Brooks. Bases loaded, no outs. Uh, top of the fourth, no score. McNaughton on the mound. Didn't get here. Low and outside there. You know, if you really watch Grace and deliver, he, he keeps his wrist in more of an unorthodox, unorthodox style of pitching. Um, so he almost hides the ball in some ways better. You, if you really watch his hand, see that? Mm -hmm. That was a nice pitch right there. Now, I know I had James Salvis explain this to me one time a couple years ago, but it, the, the memory escapes me. Tell us the difference between pitching from the windup and pitching from the stretch. So you go from the windup when there's nobody on base. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you if you go from the windup, they can just take off. You can't get off the rubber, the mound at the pitching mound. Oh, oh that nice Top catch, Jake. Up. There we go. Good job, Jake. Good job, Jake. And from the stretch, you can make a move to first to hold the runner or try to pick the runner off. So right now he's pitching from the stretch. Yes. Yep. Nice play by Jake. That, that, saved a a, that saved a couple of runs. That, that goal bumped did. back there. Mm -hmm. So that's one so we one got. One out now, yeah. <clears throat> one out now. Base is still loaded. Top of the lineup, though. Uh, Xander Oshani up. He was swinging hard, too, there. He uh, fouled out, uh, flight out foul in the second and struck out in the first. Jake's on the line. Andrew's a little more up the middle than that's, that's trouble. Come on in, Owen. Let's see if he goes for four. Come on, come on, come on. Throw in. That's a nice throw. Oh, go get that. Yep. So, so McGovern's going to score. <clears throat> Good play by uh, Owen. Xander with a fly out. <laughs> so Owen made a really good throw there. So here's Joe. He's calling cut two, right? So he, he wants a play. So Owen skipped the the cutoff, man, which was Andrew. But uh, good start there. Stay down. Come on. Jake. 
over to first. Oh, no. Through the wickets. That's going to score a couple of runs. It's out of play, so he's going to automatically get second. And so Grayson did the right thing to come in and, and cover the throw. And um, Jake had the easier out. If he had come home, I think he missed the runner. Mm -hmm. And what he's talking about with the plate, with the ball going out of play, had the runner advanced far enough beyond second to get home. It's usually one plus one from the outfield, so. So Farrell gets the double. And he's the lone man left standing on base here. Yeah. So yeah. out of one of those, one of them you could say is unearned because of the, you know, the pass ball at first base. Right. Now is that scored as an as an error? Well, this is back to that book thing where. Okay. I don't know. I would think that would. I think that's an error. I, I'm not sure. I don't even yeah. want to be quoted on that. Okay. Stuff. But let's see what happens here. Two we got guys. Here Goodrich we go. up now. He's gonna take third base. Goodrich singled last time. Uh, <laughs> struck out in the first inning and uh, singled last time. So that moves uh, Farrell over to third. What do we got? Two outs, mm -hmm. top of the fourth. Panthers up three zip. Three runs on the board in this inning. Mm -hmm. See Farrell over here running down, stomping his feet, doing all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff, trying to. Now a quick snap from Miller down the third base line. If this kid is halfway, you could catch him, pick him off, or get him into a pickle. But you have to have a quick snap in with a right-handed batter. You either got to throw behind the batter right. or. I see. Yep. Yep. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you know, James. James Montgomery was really good. With, there's a nice pitch. That's foul. Yeah, he was tall enough to be able to get up yep. and make the throw over the batter. And, and um, so I'm sure that some of the things that you know yeah. James is working. Goodrich is tall too. Mm -hmm. It's right, a, a two outs. What do we got? Two and one. Yes. In the dirt. Uh oh, out of play. So that's yep. So that will score Farrell. So there's another unearned run as well. So now essentially two of those runs in my, you know, I guess that would be scored unearned or unearned. But. So two outs, base is clear now for Goodrich. Mm -hmm. Four zip your score. <laughs> So now he's going back to the windup. And some guys, you know, some pitchers will stay with the stretch. That didn't work for him. He, see, I wonder, works. so when I talked about how he hides the ball so well, that's harder on your wrist and your elbow. Mm. And um, Ty, you tire quicker? Well, he's probably young enough, but Everything that I was ever, you know, taught in baseball, you know, I mean, to help not tire and injure so yeah. much. Robinson struck out in the first. He flew out. Uh, That's a nice pitch. McNaughton. Yeah. Uh, that was that high one that Grayson came in and made. Mm -hmm. It's a good start for Grayson right there. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it, but it does help him too. But they like say because it hides the ball, and then all of a sudden it's being delivered as a, you know as a batter. You, know, you got to try to pick that ball up as fast as you can. That one ball. back. Nobody's going to get into that one. Well, that that player make makes a nice catch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, out of view of the camera, but uh, nice catch. So that now was, we can uh, get out of this inning. That was Matt McGovern, one of their subs over there with a the catch on that ah. one. We'll, we'll give him credit. Robinson at the plates. Goodrich on second. Two outs. There we oh stay there he held on to it. Good job. Good uh, Robinson not happy. Struck him out. Yeah. Well to end the inning, but not before Thetford goes up for zip. 
So they picked up three, but what are we at the top of our lineup now? Uh, let me see. Let me go to my official stat sheet here. Yeah, we're at the top of the lineup. Back up the top of the lineup. Yeah. So we'll have Grayson, Owen, and uh, Andrew up. Yeah. But it's pretty much been one, two, three mm -hmm. down through, so. Grayson flew out, Owen flew out, and Andrew out to shortstop back in the first inning. So it's taken us four innings to get back to the, to the top of our line. Bat around, yeah. yeah. But it's like you said, you know, it's not the strikeouts. You know what I mean? It's uh, oh, we have a new yeah. pitcher out there. Yeah, he's only got two. He's only got two. You know. Uh, Hit two. Parkman only ha only had two strikeouts. And they just put in a new pitcher, number ten. Number ten. Uh, that is uh, Owen Goodrich. Pitching now. So it looks like if that's number two, uh, no, I can't see. I don't. I don't know where they moved him around. Then I can't see the numbers that well out there. Because Parkman was pitching, he's number 33. J.D. Farrell was designated hitter at number two. I guess if we can spot a number out there somewhere, we'll know where they're playing. Goodrich was at second. His pitcher might be in the dugout. I can't see the left fielder right now, but um, so Owen Goodrich was at second base. We took a time on the pitch. It looks as though uh, our pitcher has a little more pop than the original. A little more heat, maybe. <clears throat> Take a moment while he's warming up or we'll read our sponsors. Uh, once again, you're watching Hayes and Varsity Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsored by The Village Restaurant. Open 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. Breakfast and or takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsc.org. Jumpstart your future. Uh, Art doing camera and tech. Ivan Menard with the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall, just, I'm just yapping. <laughs> you made my stomach growl again, yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. Every, uh, time, with every, every mention of the diner. Yeah. And I believe they do culinary down at... They do do culinary yeah. down at the sex center, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, food yeah. is always, you know, a priority for me and uh, on my mind. There. Yeah. That's why my Wimbledon days aren't going to be so good <laughs> this year. Yeah, once once the nieces come out, eh? They're going to take care of you. <laughs> Uncle Ivan's going to get a beat down. Oh, boy. Yeah, a real beat down. Um, oh, yeah. really, yeah. What is the big thing you eat? What is the big thing you eat at Wimbledon? Is it vanilla ice cream and strawberries, something like that? Stra cream and strawberry, strawberries and cream. Ah. Yeah. There you go, Ivan. I didn't know that. But. Yeah. Huh. Strawberries and cream is the yeah. culinary delight at Wimbledon. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that, but. <laughs> I just one of those crazy things that's in my head. I did not know that. I just remember Yvonne Lendl and yeah. McEnroe. And, um, yeah. You can't be serious. Yes. I think that was at the U.S. Open. Yeah. Uh, Venus Williams. The, the Williams. Yeah, Serena. Before that, uh, back in the day with McEnroe. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what her name was. We, uh, we were Venus. talking. I was talking tennis uh, last game with Art. I'm yeah. My all-time favorite. Uh, Grayson with a good cut there. Uh, female player was uh, Gabrielle Sabatini. She yep. was beautiful, beautiful. Jet black hair. I think she was from yeah. South America. Hmm. Argentina. Argentina? Okay. That's this kid here throwing has mm -hmm. a few more miles per hour. And for a guy player. I'll go with Boris Becker. I used to Boris like to Becker? watch him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a ball. But again, Ivan. I better stop calling okay. balls and strikes. I'll you get in trouble. Got a K there. New pitcher. You know, we we you guys sort of laughed at me last time as as Scorsett comes to play about how I was talking about the changes in bowling, with the changes in equipment and the synthetic lanes and the oiling patterns and everything. Yes. I'm guilty here's, an, here's, here's another sport, though. Tennis. <laughs> Look at back in the day of Bjorn Borg and that. They played with wooden rackets that were heavy, sure. the way they were strung, mm -hmm. the way the balls were. Oh. Um, whereas nowadays... That catcher just took that one right in the hand. He did. 
Sorry, watch out no. to check on him. No, yeah. I'm, good call because I was totally rattling off about tennis and we had something actually happen down here on the baseball field. That's got to hurt on a cold day to the, like today. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, there is another. I think it hit his glove. The bat hit the glove. That's what I thought. Maybe it was a foul ball, but I thought Dan on the back coming around might have hit him. This is a uh, Owen up. Scorsa. Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. But I guess that is not the case because Owen would get his bag, get first base. Andrew Spooner. Hmm. Maybe Spooner, was, the catcher. Maybe it was a foul tip and it came back, but I, th I thought he was holding the back of his hand there. So, um, so back to your window. Yeah, but, but that 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 is, you know, there's a big change that's happened in tennis. Sure. Um, look at golf with the changes in technology with the golf clubs and and the balls and and the the upkeep of the greens and stuff nowadays. So I thought when you were talking about tennis, you were going to allude to like there's new grass they're growing. Well, no, on. but I mean again, equipment <laughs> no. changes. Oh know? yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the Lighter rackets, the the you know, oh sure, the a graphite, lot. aluminum. And yeah, you go from those old wooden sticks that you know exactly. you we used to use back in the day. Yeah, you know, and it's the same way with bowling. You know, back in the day, you had maybe a plastic ball and a urethane ball. Now they got these reactive resin balls and all sure. kinds of cores in them and stuff. And, yeah, and baseball with aluminum bats. Mm -hmm. Things have really you changed know. in all of this stuff. Like I said, I, when I started. Ooh, the ball high. was square? The ball was square. I tell <laughs> you, I, I always say I'm that old, right? You know, so. Uh, now, were you a fan of aluminum or were you the traditional, traditionalist wooden bat guy? So, a oh, little while, a little. He's working the count. Um, I actually, it's going to sound crazy, but I finished with a, my senior year. Where I, all I swung was a wooden bat. Did you use aluminum at all? I did as a younger, you know, player, but then um, I got a different baseball coach. Tim Bolton mm -hmm. was his name, and uh, he told me to get a better feel and you could handle the ball better, so he, he talked me into using a wooden bat, and that's all I swung my senior year. What is the big difference, advantage, disadvantage to aluminum over wood, or is there one? I think the aluminum carries, you know, the ball carries much, much further. Much further. You know, it's a harder surface bat. Sure. Um, you know, they have wooden bat leagues now. They have wooden bat tournaments. We mm. played in one last year up in... Oh! Now that's going to leave a mark. Yes. I only took it like a champ, though. Yep. I would be crying and looking for my mother at this point. Exactly. That's uh, why I didn't play baseball. I'm scared of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll full up admit it. I'm scared of the ball. And if that happened to me, I would just walk off the field and go yeah. home. Not, not out of mad. I wouldn't be mad. I would, I would be scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to see with Andrew. This is a much faster pitcher. So runner on, one out. Will Hazen do their aggressive stuff? Owen got good speed out there. It, Owen has excellent speed, so I'd like to see him get out of the force. We'll see what Sean does. He's sending him. That's down. Andrew. Come on, baby, get him. No, get back, Owen. Owen. Get back, get Owen. Cut him way. Oh, hit and run oh, on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Double play. Ah, oh, beauty hit. I wondered yeah. if Andrew was going to try to push it that way or just, and that was a hit great, but. Trying to make something happen with a hit yeah. and run on. And, exactly. Uh, I mean, you got to go for it. You're down four zip. Yep. Um, but, wow, what a play by the right fielder and, Certainly and the first baseman, you know. And, and Owen was just, he did nothing wrong. Did what you do in that yeah. instance. Again, a, a great heads-up play on their part. But here we are, you know, we're, we're striking the ball very right. well, but it's going right. I, I think they could, you know, the right fielder made, what, two steps yeah. to catch that ball. and it was, a, yeah, it was a shot right to him. Right. I mean, right to the glove and then to double him up at first. So <laughs> that's right. why you want to play aggressive. So. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so back to our Wimbledon days, you know, racquetball. Mm. Now, there's a, a fast moving sport. Did you ever have a chance to play some? I. <laughs> very, very, very a, a little. Um, I would have loved to have been able to do it more. By the time I tried it, I was too old to really, you know, as a young person, mm -hmm. a teenager, I would have loved to have tried it, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. But no. 
I think that was the best workouts I ever had. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I played a little bit over at uh, Lennon State there. Just a little bit. All right, let's see who we got up coming up here. Uh, their last batter was Robinson. Uh, we're in the middle of the lineup. We got Tommy Amber, Amber, Dempsey McGovern, and Evan Patterson coming up for Thetford. And we uh, still got Grayson on a hill. Yeah. So. Um, and you said that. So we're making a catching change. Here comes. Gavin Stratton, my okay. man Gavin. All right. All right. Looking good in those stars and stripes mm -hmm. down there. I'll tell you, the other sport when I, uh, oh, back, I don't know, a year and a half or so when, when I had came down with COVID and was convalescing up in my room. I got one. <laughs> I went through the ESPN 30 for 30 library mm -hmm. and I watched one of the documentaries on Highly. That is an insane. What? Is that the... Well, they play with the big scoop, big scoop thing, thing and the yeah. big long... You, you ever do any of that, Art? No, I don't know if I've ever seen it. That, that is insane. What, what are they trying to do? In the, what, what, what are they, they aiming for? Is they explained it, but uh, I can't remember. But I just remember, I mean, the ball comes out at like, you know, 150 miles, miles an hour. hour. You know? <laughs> I, I, I have no, I, I couldn't, I remember watching it and yeah. being fascinated by it. To try and explain it to you, I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and again, back when I lived in Connecticut, back, I, I, I moved down to Connecticut for in the late 80s, and that was huge back then, in the early to mid-80s. That was more of a, yeah. It, it was that, huge. You had Milford High Lie, and it was all mm -hmm. over the place down there. Um, and they drew some big crowds. Uh, you know, per the usual, money spoiled it. And, mm -hmm. I know it's it's a really fast. Yeah. I'm just not familiar with Grayson is still throwing some good stuff yeah. there. And... Um, Coaches are getting some other kids behind the belly too, so that's good. So let's see what Tommy Amber did uh, so far in this game. Uh, if I can flip back to the right page here, uh, he got a uh, he flew out to shorts. He uh, Jake made a, made that beautiful play on third to get mm -hmm. him. And uh, is that it? Has he been up one other time? I think I think that's it. That I have marked down for him. I'm, I'm sure for, you know, maybe some viewers, you know, the game is probably much slower, you know, unless you're a, a diehard baseball fan. But oh, I'm so to watch this team. And, it, it, you know, Thedford comes in here 6-0. Yeah. And for our guys, you know what I mean? We, so there, we're we're doing in. all the right things. It's mm -hmm. just it's just got to. Yeah, hang it in. Yep. The timing and. Um, Positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement for these young men. There we go. Amber. That's a tough play because Grayson isn't going to first. Tag the runner. There we go. Good job. And Grayson had a little, yeah, a little, little bit of ground to cover there. Yep. But he's so he's fast, mm -hmm. and uh, all of a sudden he was like, "Oh, I better um, get moving." Uh, Dempsey McGovern up. So four zip, mm. uh, top of the fifth here at Hudson Field. Setford Panthers visiting us today. Coming up in Thetford, nice right up. You know, it's all interstate in 91, straight up through mm -hmm. there. Have you ever? Oh, that's that down. One's down to left. Dan taking it one hop, hits his cutoff. Yeah, and we're gonna run it in. Have you ever been down to Thetford for a game of any sort? I have never been in, I've never been there for a game. No, I DJ'd down there a couple of times uh, eons ago at that school. Uh, beautiful layout. Yeah, it's right up on the say, hill. It's yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful. Uh, a lot of cars, they have like a big cross country down there as well, I think. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. I've only been down for baseball. Yeah, I, I know and they've had yeah. some, uh, I've, I've heard of a lot of cross, cross country running going on down there. But perched up on that hill, he's gonna go, gonna test him right away. Gavin. Pass ball. So stolen base. Yeah, it's it's a fix. See, the two times I went down was at night, so I didn't really. So mm -hmm. one day I was going out through there, and I'm like, you know, I've never seen a school in the daytime. So I I jumped off the exit and and went up, and yeah, you're right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. perched up high. You can look right down to the Connecticut yeah. River Valley. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Um, so let's see. 
will they try? He's going. No one told him. Going all the way. Yeah. Again, it's uh, poor Grayson. You know, it's, it's communication. Nobody, nobody right. said he was going until he was more than halfway. But uh, this is a, a young man on third. He's he's stolen every base that he's been up, right? I believe so. In your, in our stats. You know, it's funny because now they're doing the Finding Nemo down there. Yeah. That you mentioned the other night about uh, the, the <laughs> exactly. seagulls. You know, the seagulls uh, we used to hear over yeah. there. Yeah, he stole second, stole third in the second, mm -hmm. and he uh, stole first and scored in the fourth. Or, I mean, stole second. Uh, he walked and then stole second in the mm -hmm. fourth and then ended up scoring from there. So, yeah, he's not afraid to, to jump. Yeah, the Finding Nemo seagull. He's coming, he's coming. No, he's not. Holding oh, him off. yeah, I might have twisted an ankle there. No, he's okay. I see Patterson holding him up there. Yeah. Well, again, you know, it's the backstop is so short. It's going to yeah. be a good pass ball here. Or, you know, you really Somebody, need to score yeah, a run. Yeah. you got to have you a major jump out there. Yes, exactly. So... Um, That was, it sounded like four from golf, but it's there's any more. Three and one. That's a good pitch right there. Three and two now, full counts. I think he wanted it back. I think yeah. our batter wanted to be swinging away on that one. Three and two you count, one out. Yep. Runner on third. Spooner on deck. Here we go, Grayson. Let's see what we got, bud. That's a good pitch. Foul back. Yeah. Keeps the bat alive. The at-bat alive is what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. I remember watching a Phillies game one night when Pete Rose was playing. He must have, I think he fouled off like 27 pitches and, and finally got on base. Mm -hmm. I remember when Pete Rose was playing too. Yeah. Oh, baby, just just high in the strike zone. That's, you know, um, hard to lay off as a batter, but, you know, they've got it. Mm. So runners at the corners, one out. So we know that he's sending the runner at first. Right. There's a lot of speed at right. third. Take the, uh, to take the force out out. Now Joe didn't, oh, he did make the play. He made the call for the, the play. Oh, he was swinging. Spooner uh, walked, and he went on last time, uh, got hit. Hmm. Hit batter last time. They had the hit and run on there, Lance. Did you see that? He, I did see that. It, either that or it was a swing through. That used to be something when you had a, a, a runner was going to steal, and you had a good batter up there. You have him swing through, and it, you, know, you have that bat coming through the vision of the catcher. There's another good pitch right there, Grayson. Foul back, back into the, the apple tree. Yeah. Yep. So Grayson is way ahead on this pitcher yeah. in, in the late innings, you know, the fifth inning. So he's throwing oh. a lot of pitches. No and two you count, one out. Let's see if Grayson can pick up a strikeout here. That would be great. Could help for himself. There we go. Oh, coming home. Just hang on to it. There we go. Base is loaded. So how do we score that? Uh, you know, uh, drop third strike. Okay. And uh, you know, it's just un you know it's un just unfortunate. It's just you know unlucky. You yeah. know, poor Gavin. It popped out on him and. Uh, so we got Goodrich up now. Um, he hit the uh, Jake. He flew out to Jake. He's singled. Thought we saw him one other time. Maybe not. That's a nice pitch. He singled, low. And, singled and flew out to Jake last time. Singled earlier in the game. Base is loaded. One out. Bottom of the order right here, Liam Brooks. Oh. 
Not a good pitch. Good Andrew range back. with Andrew. But we got underneath Oh, it got underneath him. I thought he caught it. I thought he did, too. by Dan. Two runs scoring. We're going to go throw it around. Third. Be careful, guys. Yep. There we go. Good job, Jake. So, what, we have two runs scored on that one? Mm -hmm. It just got underneath his glove. I thought he had it. So he singled to left, at the top of the order right here with Xander Oshani. Runners at second and third, one out still. Six zip your score. Oh, Oshani's gonna uh, take his yeah. base. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna try to get out of the inning with Grayson. Um, J.D. Farrell up with the bases loaded. Hmm. Farrell designated hitting for the pitcher. I know he struck out in the first. No, he singled in the first. Hmm. Excuse me, he singled in the first, flew out to center, and doubled, hmm. hit a double last time up. I think Gavin's going out to, you know, give Grayson a little bit, maybe a little breather and go over some signs and uh, talk things out. Here we go. So yeah, Farrell's uh, hit the ball fairly well for him so far in this game. Mm. We just got to leather it up here and, and yeah. you know, give our, our pitcher a little help. There's pitch in that's low. A little bit low, yep. Our dugout's got a little quieter. Very quiet. This, uh, uh, yeah, not a lot going on. Yeah, we're, we're pushing a donut right now. We want to get, there's a nice pitch. I'm going to say if I was a batter, I'd have been swinging at that pitch. Here we go. Oh, that Off sounded like right. him on Get on those wheels, buddy. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. Another Meyer. beauty. Coming into first, trying to catch, run scores. That was a run and a layout. Those nice are the wins, and Fenton that's Meyer. what we want to start building from. Very good job. Fly out to right. I hope his Uncle Tom and his... Uh, Uncle Tom and his Aunt Chris are watching that one down in D.C. or wherever they are. Oh, and uh, Goodrich up next. Yeah, that was a fantastic catch. Big out. Saved a lot of runs. Yep. We've seen him do that twice this season. Now. Yep. Made a catch out in the left one game. Early runner goes. Oh, no one's talking. Second. So we score seven zip now. Oh, they had time. Did you see the, the runner took off? And the umpire had time out. Okay. I don't think the Thetford coach liked it. But. Two outs for Owen Goodrich, who started at second base and then started pitching in the top of the fifth, or so top of the fourth, in the going. fourth inning. There goes Xander. Gavin, back. So it's unfortunate, it's almost like everybody kind of turtles up, you know, it's cold, um, the score, and um, yeah, the, the chatter stops. There it goes, that was a nice pitch right there. Oh, and two, two outs. <laughs> Looking for that third strike, end this mm -hmm. inning. Let's get out of it. And And Joe's still down there, you know, Joe's still coaching and, you know, talking to Gavin. You know, about a pass ball, possible drop, third strike, you know, trying to keep his. Just in the dirt. One and two, your count, two outs. Looks like they're one. Top of the fifth. 
Warming up another pitcher over yeah, here? Yeah, but it could be just... Ooh. Gavin hustling back, looking for the runner. Number three warming up for Thetford. That's Dempsey McGovern, who has been out in left field. I hope they're going to throw him, or if he's just trying to stay warm, but you know, just loosening up a little bit. Fifth inning, 7 0. It's 2 2 and 2. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Let's there see what Grayson go. can do here. Nope. Aye, three that and didn't two. work for him, yep. You see him look up and give a. Yeah, he's doing a great job, working hard. Get a lot of support in the crowd here, that's for sure. I was going to say, the crowd talking more than the bench. Yeah. Oh, just outside, just outside. I, it was, I thought he had him. Me too, but <laughs> I think that strikes on, like I said, oh, here comes Sean out to have a. Yeah. Justin Robinson up next, bases loaded. That's it. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna pull him. Who's gonna close? Is it? Will it be? Owen. Owen gets the call. So I mean, Dan goes to center. All right. Oh no, maybe it's Jake getting like, or he's warming up the mound for Owen, maybe. Pitching change coming up for Hazen here in the. Uh, Top of the fifth, uh, Thetford's put three more runs on to make it seven zip. You are watching Hazen Varsity Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open six to three every day, breakfast and or takeout all day. Check out the daily specials. Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Art on camera and tech, Ivan just being a bastion of baseball knowledge over here next to me. I'm Lance Hall with the call. Talking to you here from Hudson Fields. So once again, Thetford came in. Let me flip to my game notes. Thetford came in with a record of six and one overall. Mm. Uh, once again, that, that lone that, that sort of lone loss uh, to Blue Mountain down in Thetford by a score of 10-3. Mm. I mean, I'm not dissing on the Blue Mountain squad, but no, it's a smaller smaller school. 2-0 in the division, 6-1 overall. Last game was this past Tuesday. They beat Randolph 19-3. Oh. Next game, they host Linden Saturday. Uh, Hazen, 2-2 two two in division, 2-3 two overall. Once again, run that three-game skid. Uh, losing to Montpelier twice by scores of 10-zip, 17-zip. We also lost to PA 9-5, two of those games here at uh, Hudson Fields. Next game, again at Hudson Fields, Saturday. Mm. This coming Saturday against Spalding, which is another big school, tough school. D division 2? Spalding yeah, Division 2? Yeah, man, I think LI is Division 2. So, you know I mean? This is going to be a good, you know, a tough game coming up for... Um for Everybody Thetford as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Blue Mountain's got a really good program down there. They do? Yeah, Andrew, okay. my son, went down and played with those guys quite a bit okay. two or three years ago, and that was a team that... Uh, you know, and I don't know Blue Mountain's record. I should have looked that up. Uh, um, I didn't look that up. So, well, once again, I'm, I'm not dissing Blue Mountain. Oh, no. No. You know. Um, I'm hoping we can wrap this up. Because we'll see who, if they come out, who Thetford comes out pitching with. Yeah. And maybe well, we can turn the McGovern. corner and yeah, get rid of that donut on the scoreboard out yeah. there. And All right. Justin Robinson up. Scores that in pitching now. Ninth batter to the plate for Thetford in this inning. Base is loaded. Just we'll gave him a strike. That that, well. Yeah. First pitch a strike, that's what you want, eh? Yeah. That one tailed out a little bit. Might have been a slider. I know. High and outside. Good pop on it, though. Mm -hmm. Same pitch. Did you yeah. see that tail off? Yeah. I think he's throwing a little bit of something of a slider or something there. Foul tip, though. We'll call it one and two. Mm-hmm. One strike away. 
He could use getting the out pain. Getting jam here, yeah. Yeah, by getting us out of this. Andrew was looking for the call for the yeah. move there. To Trying to catch uh, mm -hmm. O'Shawnee back there, leading off a second. Oh, baby. Oh, Jakey, that's our first. That was. Let's go on. Fenton yeah. trying runs. to find a handle back there. Two more runs score. That's the cutoff. It's all right. That ball was struck yeah. very, very well. Oh, Shawnee, and I believe that was Goodrich came in. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah. Yep. No. Uh, was it Brooks? Came in, so uh, single. So we know he's going. Right. Gavin makes the catch and the runner down. Tommy Amber up. Uh, they didn't call where they wanted the ball to go that time. You know, there used to be a time where you'd have your your shortstop would just come running in, mm -hmm. and and you'd rifle the ball to the shortstop. That's a good pitch right there. Strike. A little off speed. Amber so far, he flew out to shortstop, uh, threw out, uh, flew out to Jake, and, and, well, this is the second time batting. In the inning. Did he lead off? Have they gone around? One, two, three, four, five, yep. six. Yeah. Well, the, well, you know what we could do is get a scorebook, Lance, and yeah. then, uh, not that either, you know, either one of us would have time, but right. you are doing uh, stats. Doing but, as best yeah. I can here, but yeah, yeah. I have a, this is a second at bat. Mm -hmm. Flew out to the infield to lead the inning off. Yeah, I think you're right. Unfortunately. Yeah. You know, but. Three and one, your counts. Runners at second and third. Nine zip here in the fifth. Oh, baby. That Come on, Justin. Justin almost had a play at that ball. Yep. That was another well struck ball. Two run score. Mm -hmm. And Amber in with a single. 10 zip. So he, 11. Yeah. 11. 11. Okay, 11. Two zip. just came in at that Okay, two then, yeah. So now here's another observation. I don't know if our viewers and everyone would notice this, but uh, in Lance. So Owen has just a little more speed on his pitch. Mm -hmm. And it looks as though Thedford is all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It, is ready for it's, it. It's resonating. You know, yeah. it tells you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just that little bit of change. So the off speed, they're ahead of it. That's a strike. It's got to be. Throwing it harder, they're right on it. Yep. Well, that was a ball, Lance. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh -huh. uh, we'll call that one egregious. <laughs> Michael, egregious. when he sees me at men's league golf, if I, if I, if I play again this year, he'll, <laughs> he'll throw a golf ball at me. Uh, so McGovern singled to left in this inning earlier, and then uh, stole second, stole third, and scored. I think he's going. Yeah, he's going. He's going. Mm, Gavin. Gavin opted not to, not not to, to make not the to make throw. That, see now, yeah, Sean's saying throw it. Yeah, I mean, why not practice it? This is where you practice. Though. Exactly. You know, and make the throw, get it in there. Nothing like live game time action mm -hmm. to work on this stuff. Because Gavin's got a good arm I too. Mean, yeah, I mean, you're down 11 zip. What do you got to lose? Oh. And he's, you know, he's making like he made that catch. It was a really inside catch there, and uh, you, you nailed it on the head, Lance. This is a great time, and the coaches are saying that you know, send that ball down. Yep. You have nothing to lose yeah. in the sense of. You know, right. That's a good pitch. Fell back. Two and two. And when I say nothing to lose, not because of the score. You know, what I mean, th there's yeah. not a lot of runners on the bases. Right. right. Yeah. So now's the time. Yeah. To yeah. do it. You got two outs. If you happen to catch him, yeah. you're out of the inning. And there's, you know, and there's Joe coaching again. He's talking, yeah. you know, about the target and where to hold your glove. That is going to be out of play, I believe, Lance. Dan running, charging hard. Now he can't catch that one. Well, Dan's moved to center, so that would have been uh, Grayson, right? At three? Yes. Yep. yep. Um, 
And that's what I like. You know, I mean, you know, it speaks to our coaching staff again. Yeah. You know, eleven nothing, but they're still coaching the game. It's always time to learn. Mm -hmm. Always time to learn, and every situation at every turn. That. <laughs> Ivan is incredulous beside me. Uh, three and two is the count. Mm -hmm. Much to the chagrin of Ivan Menard. <laughs> no. Now that should be an out. It's a tough ball. It's a lot of room for. Here comes Andrew. Andrew makes the play on All that right, one. All right, third out. There we go. We got out of that uh, long inning there. Yeah, I mean, they batted around. Yep. Ooh. That was tough. That yeah. was painful. Growing pains. Yeah. Andrew went a long way for that ball, so uh, helped everybody out a little bit there. We got uh, here in the bottom of the fifth, we got Jake, Davison, Dan, and Justin coming up. Mm -hmm. Joe was trying to, you know, motivate the troops down there and, uh, and Sean. Having a little bit of it. Um, well, they can't now. Well, I mean, we put a. This is our last at bat. This is our here. last at bat. I mean, we basically have to put a run on in order to keep playing. Am I correct, Ivan? Uh, ten. Well, yeah. Or it's still runs. ten. We'd have to get two runs. Two here, runs. Yeah. To, to keep playing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so Lance, I forgot the name of that sport you were talking about with those great big curve highlight. Highlight, yes. Yeah. Have you ever tried cricket? No. No. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue. I've watched it a little. Yeah. I don't have a clue yeah. as to what that is. Because you had said wickets. In yeah. between the wickets with the right. poor Jake there back in yeah. the second inning. Uh, no. No. So I one time did play a little cricket. Really? And it was, you know, you got this crazy bat and this yeah. little ball, and they're throwing it 100 miles an hour, right? Mm. And I believe I just closed my eyes and hit it, and the ball went forever. Huh. And what I didn't realize was you had to keep on running back and forth from the wickets or something. Oh, okay. Like that. And uh, I finally just gave up running because the ball just kept on rolling. <laughs> they, they, I think some other little kid must have stole the. Stole uh, the ball. So here's Jake. Maybe Jake can yeah. start us off and get a little redemption yeah. back here. See what happens mm -hmm. here. Oh, nice cut by Jake. Yeah. Takes a swing. Mm -hmm. Who do we have on the mound? Uh, Goodrich is back on the mound, so I guess McGovern was just keeping his arm limber. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh boy! And we basically have gone one, two, three every inning. Mm -hmm. Jacob. Uh, that that curveball, I think he I think he thought that was a wild pitch and then it came in at the last second. Wow, Hi. he put some heat on yeah. that one. That one was screaming. He wanted to get an exclamation point on that one. But Jake is a good you know, he's a strong hitter. Mm -hmm. The big boy. Let's see what happens here. That's it. Yep. Jake walks. So Dan up next. Dan gonna get a fast bat, choke up on it, step into it. Or just slap it, you know, because small ball is over at this stage. Oh, J Jake didn't walk? That was an out? No, no, Jake struck out, yep. Yeah. I thought that, I thought he walked. I, I saw yeah. him drop the bat and start head first. I, That's a strike right okay. there. Okay, I put my head down too quick. Yeah. Try, trying to score this thing. Okay. So one out here, bottom of the fifth, Dan DeGroslier. Mm -hmm. Right fielder's in again. Let's see what Dan does yeah. here. Whoa. I don't think he way. wanted to have his ribs no. uh, tenderized, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to have caught that one in that particular oh. spot either. Yeah. 
Uh, bench alive a little bit down there. Yeah, Dan Mano came yeah, out like of that. that one. That was good. Yeah, great nickname. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna steal that one. That's one yeah. thing I haven't worked on much this year is, is nicknames for the guys. So Dan the Mano, mm -hmm. there we go. Yep. Boy. Dan, now that's one a, thing I observed on, on that one, Dan was kind of shuffling his feet a little bit as the ball was coming in. Oh, I, I, you think I he was that anticipating having to get out of the way, or maybe I'll, I'll, have to, I'll watch for that. I, I think Dan right. felt that pitch was very low. Oh yeah, he's stepping around in there. Yeah. Right. You know, I really noticed it on yeah. that last one. Good observation. He yeah. was really uh, shuffling his feet. Yes. I didn't know if he was looking for a, trying to back off from a pitch or just mm -hmm. what he was doing. All right, Justin Montgomery. Here's Justin. To Elliot coming up on deck. Sean's trying to get some kids. In. Justin starts with a takes a strike. He wants to see it. <clears throat> a lot of speed with Justin. Yep. It would be interesting to find out how fast some of these kids are actually yeah. throwing. Yeah. Um, just for the fun of it, yeah, you know, some, of these, to, some of these things are humming. Yeah. That oh, one was. Nice, that was a nice cut right there too, though. <laughs> that was. Uh, really moving. Man. Yeah. I mean, not you know for anything, but just out of my own curiosity, you know, yeah. how fast are these guys throwing? I agree. That'd be fun. Justin getting ready. Oh, nice cut. So another just behind it. Just behind it, and that's it's been it was three up and three down every inning today for us. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, we hit the ball at times. Not not in that inning, but mm -hmm. we did have some. You know, we we hit the ball. Uh, so Is that the end? that's the end. Uh, that's the end. Yep. Yeah. So that will drop us down to uh, two and three in the division. Two and four overall. Uh, four game. Skid will look to write things uh, this coming Saturday, May 11th, when we'll be hosting Spalding. Uh, once again, you've been watching Hayes and Varsity Baseball here on HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnc.org. Jumpstart your future. Art on camera and tech. Lance Hall with the call. Ivan here once again as uh, my... Uh, Right hand man, literally. <laughs> I had a lot of fun this game. I, yeah. You know, I, not the result we wanted, but still a lot of fun. And uh, let's hope for for a good game on Saturday. Well, I'm I'm looking forward to it again. I, you know what I mean. Win, lose, or draw. I, I love the game. I love the community, and I love this. Uh, these young men there. It takes a, a village or a town to raise a kid. You exactly. Know, so here we go. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.